Sustainable Community Models. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 271. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 271, June 3rd, 2018 edition. What One Community is creating is sustainable community models, and we are open sourcing and free sharing all of the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replication. Everything you see happening in the background of the video here are the sustainable village models that we're creating, but there's so much more than just that. Our idea of sustainable community models also includes an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which everybody's aware of, their food, energy, and housing, and it combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as high school education models, high school economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. I'm putting all, this thing, all these things together to build them into the sustainable community models that you see happening in the background of the video here and to provide everything needed for replication. As I already said, the tools, the tutorials, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions so that everything can be replicated either as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub. And these villages, cities, and hubs are designed to be teacher demonstration community models purpose specifically to help others create additional demonstration hubs. And so in so doing, we want to create solution models that are purpose to help create additional solution creating models and building a global cooperative, a global collaborative of these communities, teacher demonstration hubs, villages working together around the world to create more and more open source and free share tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions and open source blueprints for others to use, expanding the global suite and offering of what's available for replication of these village models and many different iterations of the models as well that could be completely different from what it is that we're starting with. And so we see this as the future of sustainable community models, open source, free shared, built on sustainable infrastructure and going so much farther than just sustainable infrastructure to also include a complete lifestyle so that people can adapt and adopt those options or aspects of the sustainable community living lifestyle that they find most useful, helpful, or in alignment with their values. And so for this reason, this is why we're including the education model, the economic models, the fulfilled living models, the true stewardship models. So that people that want a comprehensive model for sustainable community models that will provide all aspects of living while simultaneously helping to support their surrounding environments, a regenerative model for the entire ecosystem surrounding community and for also the social architecture and the social systems outside of that community, local communities and global community working in cooperation and collaboration. This is what one community is doing. We're combining all of those things so that people can build a teacher demonstration hub and live in it in the way that they want, integrate whatever elements and components they find most useful, and so that we can expand the offerings indefinitely, continuously, expanding forever the offerings of what it is that we're doing through global cooperation and collaboration, creating the world that we know is possible. The technology exists. You know, the knowledge exists to create a completely sustainable world. At this point, we just need to clear away the barriers, demystify the process, streamline open source, free share, and if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs as an attractive enough way of living, then the idea will spread on its own. And this is how one community is creating world change in a way that can transform our planet to a sustainable one within our lifetime. Within 30 years, we could live on a completely sustainable world with a highest good culture working together around the planet to create the best solutions possible for the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come, meeting the needs of all people everywhere. This is what we're trying to do. This is what we're creating. And so for the last seven years, we've been designing these open source blueprints, continue to develop all the different elements and components. We've checked off some ridiculously huge action items you can see in the background here, a lot of stuff that we've developed so far. And so we're moving towards that point of being able to build one community and then invite 
hundreds of people, then thousands of people, then tens of thousands of people, and eventually hundreds of thousands of people annually to come and experience what it is that one community is creating and to also participate in communities around the world doing similar things. Open sourcing and free sharing, everything that is that we're creating so that others can adopt these sustainable community models, evolve them even further, and continue to expand the concept and share the idea with more and more people, spreading it around the globe and creating a world for the first time, really, arguably for the first time in the history of humanity that truly works for everybody. We can address all of the biggest challenges of our generation and generations to come with a flexible model like this, an open source and free shared model like this. And so this is what one community is doing. Everybody's invited to participate. We're 100% volunteer, unpaid, non-profit, non-governmental organization creating this because we want to live this way. And we want other people to be able to live this way too if they want to. And for people who don't want to live this way, that's great. We're not pushing the ideas on anybody that doesn't want them. But for those that see a path to a world that works for everybody, for those that would like to live in a world that truly supports all people here, not just the privileged few, for people that want to help each other, for people that would like to create a world that works for everybody, who would like to see that manifest within our lifetime, we're here to support you and we're here to invite you to participate and this is what we're creating. So with all that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainable community models, open source, free share and available to everybody and create a world that will work for everyone within our lifetime. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished creating and organizing the Murphy bed materials list for the backside redesign. The core team also tested and identified any errors in the Murphy bed nightstand assembly instructions by building them in 3D while using the new instructions. Also, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 10th week leading the development of these Murphy bed instructions. This week, Shadi started creating the style guide shown here. He also created version 1 of the cutting instructions and updated the rest of the instructions with parts graphics that are proportionate to the actual pieces. Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, also updated the two spreads you see here with new content and imagery. These are all part of the Seven Villages book we're developing. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates too. Here's update 116 of Dean's work. What you see is the finished render for the dining hall view from the second floor. This render is now on the site also. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his ninth week helping update our Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike finished rendering the final art in outdoor library areas you can see here. These are all now integrated into the website too. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. The core team working with Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 79th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was testing different lighting fixture types and layouts for the rental rooms and bathrooms and creating and adding to the website the final bedroom light fixture and initial placement tests graphic. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her eighth week helping with the Duplical City Center materials and costs. This week's focus was the initial research for the cost analysis for the dining room and other tables we'll be building. Last but not least, Doa Feng, civil engineer, completed his fifth week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the city center. This week, he further researched horizontal sprinkler options, sensor and other options for triggering these systems, and further developed the AutoCAD sprinkler layouts for these and the in-ceiling sprinklers. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments.
This week, the core team continued writing the behind-the-scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This past week, we finalized the soil prep and planting steps and pushed the trial beds to the 100 to 400 people time frame. We also reorganized the garden establishment, eradicating cardboard mentions, and organized everything into a more logical and sequential format. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished work on the Learning for Life ongoing growth strategies resource by adding the final graphics and completing the sections for high school, secondary schooling, post-secondary schooling, summary, and FAQ. We also updated our open source Waldorf resource page with new content and an added resource section with the best of the Waldorf information and evaluation resources we researched and found. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Samya Manohar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, Shubra Mittal, software delivery manager, and Swati Jayasilan, software developer, continued their work on the software. This week, they added an auto-close function to the project's management page, changed the reset password to a component, created mockups for appearance upgrades, moved confidential hard-coded data to a new secure location, updated the reports page UI to match the mockup, added a scroll box, and changed the size of charts. And they made the week selection option appear when generating reports. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards sustainable community models. Uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything it is that we're creating, visit our website, visit our written blog. There is an immense amount of information there, and you're invited to check that out. Uh, also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list, and we'll send you one email a week. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn. We're on Tumblr. We're on Reddit. We're on Twitter. We're on Pinterest and about Instagram, we're on about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. So whatever social media network you're on, uh, if it's one of the big ones, we're there and you can find us. So just look for one community. And uh, of course, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations that we get. We're a 100% unpaid, all volunteer, nonprofit, non-governmental organization. So every dollar that we get in donations goes 100% to forwarding our open source and free shared mission. Doesn't go to paychecks for me or anybody else on the team. Uh, it goes to supporting our website infrastructure, expanding it, things like that. And so if you're somebody who's donated to our project, thank you very much. Makes a big difference. Does help. Um, thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the emails we get, the comments. If you like the easiest way to help us out, share our information on social media, like our information, like this video. Those things do make a big difference. We really appreciate it. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on, keep it on. Thank you.